All right, Sagittarius, here we go. My Sagittarius, September 2024. Ah, oh, I just came off a, uh, what was it, Scorpio, a hot Scorpio reading, fairly hot. Okay, a little cooler for you. I, I don't know here. What? Usually we get some pretty crazy stuff. I've been showing people the cut cards. I, that I, I cut the deck before I shuffle for the reading, before I hit record. You got Six of Cups. Would you just check this out. You got Six of Cups, uh, Page of Cups, Three of Cups, Death card, Knight of Cups, and a Chariot. And Chariot bookending the Six of Cups. Uh, usually this section of the reading is like a little message for you. It looks like a whole bunch of shit from the past that you thought you dealt with is coming back. But it's coming back in a better form. It's a little like, it's speaking in metaphors here I suppose, but it's a little like you take the trash out in a bag and you throw it away and then the next morning the same trash bag is outside your door, but it's full of good stuff, full of electronics, new computer, all kinds of good stuff instead of old fruit, you know, and, and, and wrappers and stuff like that. I don't know. I, it's just the way it feels. I'm not sure what it means. We'll find out. It all centers around the Six of Cups. So let's see. Maybe we'll have a very unique Sagittarius reading for a change, or maybe I'll have to give the usual lecture I have to give. All right, let's see. Give me just a soulmate cycle from the angle of Sagittarius. For September 2024 universe. I'll tell you it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Okay. All three of you. Uh, for Sagittarius. I never get a lot of views for Sagittarius. But if you're here, you're here for a reason. This reading is timeless. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Top row here is how, how whoever's attached to you feels about you. Middle is how, how they see you. It could be them or people in general. And the bottom of the pyramid is which, which way the wind is likely to blow. The potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I will clarify everything and throw some universe cards at the end. All right. Well, I'll clarify what needs clarifying anyway. I mean, maybe everything. Um, and that's it. Uh, I'll... The, the overall energy is the Queen of Cups. It's very confusing energy. It's it's scattering me. I'm getting scattered here. Uh, Queen of Cups fueled by an Ace of Cups with a Six of Swords. I just I just I don't know something you once loved, something you once loved and set aside. It's it's again. It's like this is like the garbage barge. You set it off, you took it away, and it comes back to you. Something's coming back. Some kind of old feelings are coming back. This can also be an energy for me if, if this reading is for you, and it's not about an incoming, because roles can be reversed here a little bit. Uh, I often get this when you walk outside on a fall day, and it reminds you of something. I get this type of energy a lot uh, around Halloween, okay? For some reason, if the weather's just right around Halloween, I'm eight years old again. Right, in the costume, going around and getting the candy and stuff. Always a nice memory. I always enjoyed Halloween, that time of year. Uh, it, it's, it's a bit of that. It's a bit of, you know, uh, that kind of a return. But for someone else, uh, I think it's a person. I really do. I, I think this is, how do they feel about you? Queen of Swords. Somebody's got something to say. Somebody's got something to say. And somebody's going to say it. Somebody's going to say it very soon. If they feel like now is the time, somebody's got something to say. It's all throat chakra with the blue here. They're coming. It's coming. Truth. Somebody wants to speak their truth. That's how they feel about you. They feel like they need to tell you something. Okay? This can also be a passed on relative trying to get you a message. It can be. I, it can be. I already said it's very reminds me of could be in the answer is blowing in the wind and the air kind of energy it can be so pay attention to your environment that's the only way that those types of energies it could be an ancestor or whatever can get you the message uh, but generally speaking somebody really somebody's hell bent here on getting a message to you and there's so much feeling behind it if they were to, if they were to sing it it would be a hit song or they get through on the singing program you know I have no idea. I mean, it's got a lot of, there's a lot of feeling here behind what they're saying. Okay, so how do they see you? Ten of Pentacles. Established? I don't, uh, what, what else? Six of Pentacles. They see you as, they see you as wealthy. Uh, they see you as established. They see you as doing well. They see you as, I mean, they see you as having your shit together. I mean, this is beautiful. This is how you want. I mean, maybe it's how you want someone to see you. I mean, people that live in a big house, 
right? They, maybe people that live in a big house, drive a fancy car, typically if they're doing it to impress other people, this is how they want other people to see them. So perhaps somebody's giving you a warning that you're, put, that you're putting out too much of an image here. I don't know. It's possible. I would warn people against that. Don't show off your shit. If, if I, uh, you know, I mean, it, I, I, always, I always, on some level, I, I read somewhere that the, that the guy who founded Ikea, super, super rich dude, drove the same car for 26 years or something like that. You know, it, it was like an old Volvo or something, and he just drove it the whole time. Billions of dollars, never bought a, you know, any kind of a fancy thing. Um, and I know that I've lived in some neighborhoods here in Los Angeles. I had a car stolen. I used to come home. I was a bad neighborhood in North Hollywood I used to live in. I used to come home from work late and I'd rev the engine and shut it down out front and go in and go to sleep. And one morning I came out and it was gone. So, you know, you start showing off too much and you know, people see it. Uh, maybe somebody thinks you're showing off too much. I don't know, but that's the way the energy reads. You, you, look, you look like a mark. Okay? I'll put it that way. And for some of you, you might have a, a relative trying to get you. Maybe they're trying to uh, get your attention, uh, either dead or alive, to tell you that. I don't know. What's the potential final outcome? Red with Nine of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Uh, they've got something to tell you that they think is going to teach you something. Right? I may have just told you. Right? I know if I ever became a billionaire or something like that, which ain't going to happen, but if I ever did, I wouldn't drive anything too fancy. I wouldn't let anybody know that I had. I'd buy a modest house in a modest neighborhood and live, drive a regular car. You just attract attention to yourself in this world and it's not a good thing. You see what happens to a lot of those influencers out there. They attract attention to themselves and, and, and they end up getting themselves killed and shit. There's videos all over YouTube talking about it. Happens all the time, apparently. <laughs> it's a big fucking deal. So at the end of the day here, you know, maybe somebody trying to tell you something. Hey, you're being a little too flashy. Don't be so damn flashy. The only person you got to impress in this world is yourself. If you're trying, ask yourself if you, if you are this. If you're like, well, Steve, I do have a lot. Okay, fine. But are you, are you buying a nice house because you want it or are you buying it to impress other people? Are you spending money to impress other people or are you doing it because you want to make yourself happy? And you're going to have to be honest about that answer. All right? Because somebody else is going to be honest with you about something to do with that topic, with your possessions, your wealth, your state, the way you're living, the what you put value on, whatever it is. Somebody feels the need to tell you, all right? And they think it's going to change. They think, well, I don't know if they think it's going to change you. Then maybe they do with the three of wands. They feel like you're pointing in the wrong direction. They feel like you might be spinning your wheels. For a lot of you, this is an ancestral energy or someone who's passed on or something like that. This is, a lot of you, this is messages you need to pay attention for out there in the universe. It might come through other people though. Like a stranger might walk up and just say something to you. It might be a little bit cryptic. You'll have to figure it out. But later, ask yourself, why did that person say that? Why would they say that to me? Right? Try to fig You'll figure it out if you ask yourself that question. Whatever it is, they think it's going to teach you something. This is my student. Somebody here want to educate you. Okay? Right. Maybe they're doing it through me right now. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we're going to clarify some things. This is, this is either someone you once loved, someone that loves you very much, but they've, they've been on a journey. Okay? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that, there's a lot of that energy here. Okay, let's, you know what, let's cut, oh my God, I'm not going to cut the witches. Three of wands, three of wands. Let's just clarify. Um, I'm going to go straight in, straight for the jugular. Let's talk about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. All right. It, these two are together. All right. It's, it's an increase in urgency. All right. Something about September is increasing the urgency of this energy to tell you this. Why? Well, let's look at it this way. Let's put some hocus pocus on it. Okay? Let's look at it this way. What if it's a, a passed on relative watching over you? What if it's your ancestors, your guardian angel, whatever you want to call it, watching over you? Everything that's ever happened or ever will happen has already happened and it's all happening at once. That means that the energies around you, somebody passes on, right? You often hear like somebody will come back from a near-death experience and say, I saw everything, right? Yeah, they do. They get to see all, they, when you go back to your energetic state, you get to see the whole thing. So your passed on relative, for example, knows exactly where your life is going. So what happens is they try to direct you 
throughout life making different free will decisions to put you on a different course, right? Put you on a different course. They, they start kind of giving you messages. The universe is always talking to you. You see little signs. Most people just ignore it, okay? They just fucking ignore it. They don't pay any attention to it. But it's there. It's happening. So this energy can see that you're on a collision course with something. It needs, it's trying to redirect you a little bit. Trying to say this is wrong, okay? So I can see what's going to happen here. You need to do something about it. Let's go. All right, why is the Knight of Swords here? Boy, done a lot of shuffle in here for this Knight of Swords. Let's go. Oh, God. It's crossed by the Six of Cups. That's where we started. We started with the Six of Cups. It's that energy, again, of the Six of Cups. There's some someone. This this Knight of Swords, this is, this is an old energy. Okay, it's been attached to you a long time. The Four of Pentacles. It's something they... It, it, I think this is something they've been trying to get your attention about for a while. If this is not an ancestral type energy, 5D kind of thing, and it's a person, it's someone who has bit their tongue. They've zipped their lip. They haven't said anything. They've been afraid to say to you. They've been afraid to tell you. Okay? They've been afraid to tell you that you're a show-off. That you're an egomaniac. That all this is going to get you in trouble. Or that you're an easy mark. Whatever it is, they've been afraid to say it. Okay? If it's ancestral energy, 5D stuff, it's been it's been held back a little bit. It's been trying to get your attention, but it hasn't. It, it's just... Mm, okay? Uh, why is the Four of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Six of Swords. Yeah. <sighs> Again, it's been trying... It, for most of you, it's an energy that's been trying to get your attention. All right? Um... This is happening in September because of how volatile the energy is, okay? Uh, because there's a bit of a release here. It needs to release some tension. Um, if it's a 3D person, they just, it, they just feel like it's time to say something, all right? I don't know which. It's going to vary for all of you. It is. Um, let me take this energy as a whole, okay? I'm going to put these together like that. We're going to take this as a whole and clarify it. Why is this here? Tell me about it. I don't know why I've got... Maybe you do get yourself... Maybe you do. You walk around. Maybe you're like that roommate of mine and you walk around like that. I don't know. I've got Leroy Brown ringing in my head right now from Jim Croce. It's outside of Chicago. The baddest part of town. Go down there. You better just beware of a man named Leroy Brown. Now, Leroy born in trouble. See, he's standing about six foot four. All those downtown ladies call him treetop lover. All the mans just call him sir. Right? It's a bit of that. I probably got to pay Jim Croce now, but it's important for you to understand because at the end of the song, old Leroy got himself beat up, right? <laughs> now Leroy took to fighting, right? And all that kind of thing. I don't know. Maybe you think you're the shit and you're about to find out, and maybe someone here doesn't think you are and you're about to find out you're not. I don't know. We must be careful of hubris. Right? Thinking that our shit doesn't stink or stuff like that. I don't know. I'm not trying to insult anybody. It could be big like that or it could be really small. I don't know. Let's go. Tell me about this energy. I'm still shuffling on it. Obviously, it's a fucking important reading. You need to focus on something else. Somebody's going to tell you they see you focusing on the wrong things, making the wrong plans. Wrong. You shouldn't be doing this. You should be doing that. Look, I get it. I don't necessarily like people shoving their opinions down my throat either, whether it's 5D energy or fucking 3D energy. You can make suggestions to me, but ultimately the final decision lies with me. And I get it, you're probably in the same boat. You probably feel the same way. And that's fine. Um, but somebody here thinks they've got something to teach you. All right. Whoa, 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 that card flew out. Oh, 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 oh. It landed just like that on the floor. Six of Cups. The Seven of Swords. You know, somebody thinks it, 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 I get it. I get it. I totally get it. you. You even need me here. Knight of Cups reverse. These are red, center, left, right. It's about past choices. Somebody here, boy. This could be your mom. This is like something a mom says. Something I don't know. I doubt it. Not my mom. My mom loves Pentacles. But um, somebody thinks an energy around you, whether it's five D or three D. 
thinks maybe you've got a new love coming in, right? And you're picking them because of this. Uh, or they're only after you because you flaunt this. That's the problem with flaunting how much money you got. You're going to attract a bunch of gold diggers. You have to be careful about that. Okay? That's your best bet. I've told rich people this and I've told you this. It comes up for you sometimes in the weekly readings. I've told people this all the time. If you're super rich, don't take a girl out in your Ferrari. Don't pick her up for the first date or a guy in your fancy car. Go fucking borrow a Pinto for the night. You want someone who's not with you for this. At the end of the day, it's hard to tell. If they already know you've got it, it's hard to tell. It's almost impossible. You don't spot yes people until it's too fucking late. You know? I mean, look, I, it's not my place to say anything. It's just this is what somebody wants. This is what the energy is trying to tell you. Either somebody's coming in because you're flaunting this and they're after your pentacles or you're, you like somebody, you keep picking people because of their pentacles. Either way, somebody says you're fooling yourself. You're screwing yourself. Clean up the ass by doing that. Okay? At the end of the day. And they got something to say to you that they've held back from saying, be it energetic or in 3D, and they're coming to teach you something. Pay attention. All this card is saying as a final outcome for you, the Page of Pentacles, my student. All, and I'll just tell you this. Just listen. Just pay attention to whatever it is. Even if I'm the one who's telling you this. All I, I don't care what you do. Knock yourself out. You want to make people... I let people make their own mistakes. And I can tell you I've seen this mistake many times. Many times. The people I've known, let me tell you right now, would blow your fucking mind. The people I've known. I have seen this mistake many times. You want to make it, that's fine. Um, but at the end of the day here, at least... Let it at least process it, at least give it some thought. All right, it's like you know, a lot of times, I, one of the things I've seen a lot of times, especially with like celebrities and stuff, is some of them, if you don't know who they are, they, they get offended by that, they get freaked out, really bothers them. I never heard of you, never saw your show, never watched your movie. Sorry, I don't, I, I don't, I, you know, don't know who you are, and they freak out about that. Let me tell you something. Not so if you're a celebrity or some kind of big influencer with all kinds of fans and stuff, whatever it is, and somebody doesn't know who you are, that's solid goal. That's an opportunity. That's a person who won't be the Knight of Cups reversed, right? Because there's no way of knowing if they're only with you because you're on that show. You're that girl from that show or that guy from that show or something like that. You don't know. They might say, they might even pretend they don't know you half the time. And, and yet they know every episode by heart. I mean, it is what it is. That's why you got to be able to read people. That's why also, you got to be a little bit smoother than this. You got to be a little bit more balanced than this if this is you. Okay? Now, this could just as easily be you choose people for this. Be careful about that. All right? Either way, there's a lesson in it for you. That's all I'm saying. You do what you want with it. Knock yourself out. My job is just to read the energy. I'm just doing my job. And this is what came in. Alright. Now, I'm clarifying the Page of Pentacles. I'm shuffling like a motherfucker. Page of Pentacles. Why is it here? Final outcome. King of Swords. Um, mm, what's fueling that? The devil. Yeah. Again. Don't assume. D look. Just listen. That's all you gotta do. Don't assume that you're right. Oh. Don't shut it down the minute I say this or the minute somebody else say this or the minute you get signs that, about this. This energy thinks that you're, that you're holding yourself back, that you're spinning your wheels. They've not said anything, be it 5D or 3D. They're going to. They think you're making bad choices. Most of it has to do with Knight of Cups. In other words, you might be going after people for the pentacles or the people might be coming after you because of your pentacles and you're okay with it. You should never be okay with that. Okay? Never be okay with that. I'm not going to be friends with somebody because they like me because I'm Steve from Steve Love Tarot. That's not, I'm, I'm not interested in that. That's why you, you know, fuck that. At the end of the day here, it, there's got to be something deeper to it than that. There's got to be more to it. There's got to be a connection. Make sure you're looking for connections. Somebody is trying to warn you about something. That's all. Don't assume that you got it going on, that you're fine. There's, there's again, don't, don't listen to the talking goat or the devil here. All right, what's on top? Do what you want to do. I don't care. Seven of Pentacles. I do care, actually, in this case. I care about this energy a lot because I'm familiar with this. All right? I, I, I'm familiar with that energy. 
Uh, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? I've seen it play out a lot of times. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Eight Cups, right? Just listen and go about your business. It's designed, the information coming to you from whoever this is, is designed to put you on a course correct toward your Nine of Cups, toward your happiness, and away from these eight broken cups. Apparently, you keep, cho you keep choosing these eight broken cups. Apparently. Okay? Or you're about to. Maybe it's an energy that sees what might happen in the future. You're about to choose them. I don't know. All I know is it's a common energy I get for Sagittarius from time to time in the weekly readings, and it's coming out now. It's not a surprise. You don't have to be a celebrity. You don't have to be anybody famous or anything like that at all. You don't even have to be on social media at all. Just a whole lot of pentacles. People coming after you. For, I mean, you could have a good job. You could have a good car. All of that is wonderful, but it's all, it all makes you a mark. And it, it does. You have to be very careful. You have to be careful not to... I'll give you a piece of advice here, okay, in this energy. I, I will be someone who will share one thing with you. All you have to do to defeat this devil right here is don't succumb to flattery, okay? Somebody comes up to you, oh, great car, right? Yeah, thanks. That's it. Don't soak it in and go, oh, great. Wow, you, you look like you're doing well. This is a beautiful house. Thanks. Just say thanks and parry it away. Don't soak it in. Don't let it soak in like a sponge. This, this, is, this is a flattery frequency of devil energy. Somebody might be trying to warn you you're about to get flattered or you get flattered too much. I don't know. Or it might be the other way around. Right? You flatter other people because you want their pentacles. Whatever it is, an energy around you, I think for a lot of you, of, it's 50-50 split. I would say it's, a, it's either a 5D energy, it's going to send you messages, or a 3D person. They're, it's, about, it's about a course correct. It's about a course correction to get you back on the path to the Nine Pentacles or the Nine Cups and away from Eight Broken Cups. Well, on the path to the Nine Pentacles too. Take the reading how you want to take it. I've thrown a lot of information out because there's a lot of different ways it can be interpreted and there's obviously more than three of you watching. Right? Take it how you want to take it. But it is what it is. There's a lot of superficial people out there in the world. Make sure you're not one of them. Okay? And, but also, make sure you can spot them when they approach you. Because you don't want that energy in your life. It's junk food energy. It's terrible. It's, it, it, if it's a friend, it's a friend that will never tell you the, the truth. The cold hard truth. Because they won't do anything to risk the friendship. Why? Because if they risk the friendship, if they tell you the truth, then they can't tell everybody that they're friends with that girl from that show. Right? They can't. That's, that's their big thing. That's their selling point to all the other people. Oh, that's so-and-so's friend. Right? Just using that as an example and a way to sort of tie the reading together. But you catch my drift. And that's all you ever have to do. So, pay attention to any messages around you that the universe is trying to send you, that the energy is trying to send you. Oh, it'll get your attention, believe me. It got my attention the minute I started throwing cards here. Alright? That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, Please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. This, is, this person on this card is going to a good place. I'd pay attention. Okay? I would. All right. For some of you, again, this is very minor. For others of you, it might be very high level. All right. take, it, take it how it resonates, like the kids like to say. Good luck.